can also be translated as the term paid in full, paid in full. There were uh, certificates of debt in the day in the business world. And if someone had come along and paid whatever debt you might have had, there was a stamp to tell us die, paid in full, dying for our sins. He had told Nicodemus three years, when you look upon the Son of Man lifted up, the wind of the Spirit will blow in your life. And by three o'clock, he had died of a broken heart, his pericardium exploding much more quickly than, than those crucified would usually die and was taken down, bleeding, naked on a cross on a Friday afternoon as the second Adam. There's so much that we could, we could dwell on and reflect on here together, and I struggled with, with how much time to spend on each um, day and hour of the final week of the life of Christ. But there was something else that, that happened that's also part of the salvation of Christ that is amazing to me, and I wanted to close by sharing it with you. You know, Jesus um, is resurrected on Sunday morning. The date is actually April 29, the year 31 AD. And we know that 40 days later, he ascends to heaven, which would have been a Friday, June 1. We also know that 10 days later, at uh, June 10, nine days later, that the Holy Spirit falls at Pentecost. So what happens between the time Jesus ascends to heaven and the Spirit falls at Pentecost? This is fascinating and beautiful. 